Good morning internet, it is 10 to 7 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Everybody here in the hostel is still sleeping, so I have to be a little bit quiet. I am now, as you can maybe hear by the seagulls, I'm very close to the coast. I am in La Serena in Chile and today I'm riding to a town called Copiapo. Show it on the map. Let me see. So, I am now here in La Serena and Copiapo is over here. If I would go follow this main highway, it's about 330 kilometers and super boring. There's not a lot of other roads I can take, but I can go uh, close to Vallenar. I can ride more to the coast and then follow a smaller coastal road and then go to Copiapo. And taking that route will extend it with 100 kilometers. So then I'll be doing about 430 kilometers today. But it still seems nicer to me because I asked around a little bit the locals what are nice roads. And the main highway is just extremely boring um, and I can't really uh, pick, I just don't have another, a lot of options. So I hope that the coastal road will be nice. Uh, I haven't been riding on this coast anyway, so I think it's quite nice. I think temperature wise it will also be uh, a little bit better. Um, so it's uh, quite cloudy now as you can see. But that seems to be kind of the normal weather here in La Serena. I've been here a couple of nights and in the mornings it's uh, really cloudy and in the afternoon the sun comes out. So uh, let's see uh, what today will bring. Park that just like that, but hey. Policia Assassina. All this uh, graffiti is also uh, all from the protests around here. See, this must be a government building of some sort. Sure, what everything means. A new constitution. Not sure. Because I'm leaving early, I'm leaving again before breakfast time. But at the hostel, you could buy these uh, lunch packages. So yesterday I bought two. One I had now for breakfast, and it was like a sandwich and an apple and cookies. I didn't eat the cookies for breakfast, but hey. And then I have another one uh, for lunch. So. This day I don't have to worry about finding food. <laughs> Vallenar and let's uh, fill up here if that's possible. What? Yeah, no. So I just filled up on petrol and the plan was from here uh, to then go to the coast and make my 100 kilometer detour but I am reconsidering it because the visibility is really poor. There are these low hanging clouds uh, and you can't see anything. So there's really not much point to uh, ride another 100 kilometers if I can't see anything. So um, I'm going to change my plan again and just try to straight to Copiapo from here. Uh, it's a really boring ride today. It's just uh, not super interesting. And yeah, the visibility is poor. But uh, yeah, doesn't matter. Um, 
it's one of those days uh, let me see because now from here to Copiapo is still a little less than 150 kilometers and <laughs> it's still super early it's now like quarter past nine in the morning because um, I, yeah, I left so early and it's all highway so I'm just like bah, bah, bah. Um, but uh, no it's actually nice if I arrive in Copiapo early because uh, the no actually needs an oil change uh, because when I arrived there I've covered uh, again about 3000 kilometers since the last oil change and especially with all that uh, desert stuff uh, I think it's good to change the oil um, so that's actually nice if I arrive early then I have time to do that maybe give her a bit of a clean like a bit of a wash as well because <laughs> yeah, it looks horrific so yeah I think that's uh, that's the plan for now riding wise it's not uh, super interesting but okay. let's go are stuck behind some I don't know what that is something very big but uh, I'm almost in uh, Capiapo and suddenly all the clouds went away it was literally I take the turn off and it's 20 kilometers to go and uh, the Sun uh, comes through so finally I can actually see something of my surroundings because with all those uh, low-hanging clouds I couldn't see anything I could see the road and that was it so uh, it's quite nice great setting and I have all the time to enjoy rolling into town <laughs> because I can't overtake this one or well, I'm not allowed going to find a service station uh, to get uh, the oil changed and then uh, I go to a hostel I made a reservation for a hostel hostel cactus it's called but uh, let's take care of the no first No entiendo. Ah, ¿trabaja acá? Ah, sí, necesito un cambio de aceite. ¿Cambio de aceite? Sí. ¿Y dónde está? Royal Enfield. ¿Sí? Hola. So, I uh, stripped uh, the null of the, the bags uh, because she's going to get a wash and then an oil change. Um, he's even taking the brush plate off uh, to clean really underneath there as well. So uh, I think that is uh, really quite necessary to give her a thorough uh, rinse. Get all the salt and uh, all this stuff uh, off her as well. The oil that they're gonna use is 15W50, fully synthetic. And then obviously I, st I have uh, filters with me. Uh, I still have one left. I carry around three to four oil filters with me so then if I don't, um, if I'm not in an area with a Royal Enfield dealer or something then um, I can still uh, do the oil changes with the filters. is that done that's just great that it's uh, settled 
Uh, and when it comes to the washing, I have to uh, do that more often now because I'm riding on all these um, very mineral rich grounds with salt and all sorts of really bad <laughs> things for a motorcycle. Also when I was riding on the volcano, that kind of stuff. Um, and I think this is only gonna get worse uh, when I cross back into Argentina. There's gonna be a lot of uh, salt flats and that sort of thing. So I need to uh, start washing uh, Dunno on a, on a regular basis, otherwise uh, this is going to eat away on uh, parts. Ah, this is the main square of Copiapo, I think. Very pretty. These uh, taxis, well they are taxis, but they're actually called uh, colectivos. So you see here this one is number 21. So they're kind of like a bus service, but then in cars. And usually it doesn't matter how long you ride in it. You just pay for one ride, same amount. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. But as a foreigner, it's almost impossible to figure out the routes. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't have to use them really because I have my bike, but if you want to use them, uh, it's not so easy to figure out exactly uh, which one is doing which route. It's supposed to be somewhere here. Hostel Cactus. Ah, there it is, yeah. Hostel Cactus. Hola! Hola. <laughs> Tengo una reserva. No estacionamiento. No, pero después de las 8 de la noche podemos guardar la, la moto acá. acá ah, cerrado. ahora está cerrado. Sí. Ah, ok. Eh, entonces, para ahora, ¿dónde es el.? ¿Quizás acá? ¿O no? Eh, ahí, el aire de ahí. ¿Sí? ¿Va a sacar las cosas? Sí, ya. sí, sí, sí. Ok. <risa> Alright, oh, that's a shame. Because now I have to take everything off. And then uh, Dono only can go inside after 8 o'clock at night. So this is where I'm staying. Look, this is my room. Let's check the rest of the hostel. I haven't even looked here yet. Oh, they do have the cactus. Oh wow, it's quite big, actually. Goes all the way. More cactus. Wow. Oh. Oh, I'm glad I'm here and that it is still early and that I did the service for the no with the oil change and the wash. That's really, uh, really nice because, um, I mean, the ride was today was a little bit boring, but um, it's kind of good that I, I arrived here so early because for tomorrow I have again a very long day. Tomorrow I am going to cross back into Argentina again, another border crossing. And again, it will be over high pass, uh, almost uh, as high as Paso Agua Negra. Uh, and also passing volcanoes and all sorts of things. So I think tomorrow is going to be a super awesome ride, but also a very long day because in total, I think tomorrow I want to ride 470 or 480 kilometers, including the whole pass and the border crossing and everything. <laughs> so uh, that will take me again, probably 10 hours or something. So um, it's kind of nice to have an easy ride today and uh, uh, yeah, preserve my energy for tomorrow's ride, which is going to be pretty intense. So that was it for today. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.